The Grosse Mercedes 770W150 was the parade car of choice for several Nazi leaders, including Adolf Hitler. The heavily armoured car weighed 4,100 kilos, or 4 tonnes, and was powered by a 230 horsepower engine, producing a top speed of 150 kilometres per hour, or just 93 miles per hour. Its doors were armoured, the windows 2.5 centimetres of bulletproof glass, and a 0.6 centimetre thick armour plate could be raised up behind the rear passenger seat. There was a compartment in the dashboard and two in the rear to hold machine pistols for added defence. Hitler's 770 was slightly different from others manufactured by Daimler-Benz. It had an ornamental hole in the radiator, four vents directly beneath the windscreen, two door hinges on either side, short, curved side rear windows, and 20 cooling slits on both sides of the central hinge atop the bonnet. By late April 1945, the Mercedes was at Hitler's mountaintop village, the Obersalzberg, in Bavaria, while its master was meeting his end in his bunker in war-torn Berlin. At some point, the SS had moved the vehicle, loading it aboard a flatbed wagon, where it was discovered by troops of the US 20th Armor Division in early May 1945, sat in a siding in the village of Laufen, just north of Salzburg in Austria. The squad led by Sergeant Joe Azara had captured the car following a short firefight with last-ditch German troops. Once the village was secure, Azara and some of his colleagues had managed to get the Mercedes off its flatbed, fueled it and started her up. But the engine was damaged and a Dutch civilian forced labourer working in a nearby garage told Azara that the Mercedes had belonged to Reichsmarschall Hermann Goering. From then on, the Mercedes was identified as Goering's personal car. The car had some damage. Bullets had pierced the rear armour plate, one striking the dashboard. There were three bullet holes in the windscreen, plus cracking, and the right passenger window was badly splintered. Azara confirmed that this was the condition of the car when he found it, indicating that the Mercedes was caught in the crossfire during the battle to capture Laufen village. Azara was naturally unable to keep the car for himself. It was pressed into service as a VIP transport for various American generals during the early occupation of Germany and was repainted green with an allied white star on each side. In August 1945, the Americans shipped the car back to the States for use in war bond drives. Advertised as Goering's personal car, the Mercedes was then placed in storage for nine years before, in October 1956, it was put up for sale, surplus to requirements, again advertised as Goering's car. At an auction held at the U.S. Army's Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland, the Mercedes sold to Montreal collector H.J. O'Connell for the princely sum of $2,725. US also sold in the same auction was another Nazi Mercedes capture on the Orbis Altsberg in May 1945 by the US 101st Airborne Division and known as the Blue Goose. This car had definitely been owned by Reichsmarschall Goering. Mr. O'Connell thought that he had also purchased a Goering car and it was shipped to Rumble Motors in Toronto for restoration. 5,000 Canadian dollars were spent restoring most of the gunfire damage except the shattered windows, which were left in as found condition as part of the history of the car. During the restoration, Mr. Rumble erroneously based the work on another German Nazi Mercedes, adding a center light mounted on a curved bar above the front bumper, which Hitler's car never had. In 1970, the Mercedes was given to the Canadian War Museum in Ottawa in return for a sizable tax break and placed on public display as Goering's private car. But in the early 1980s, museum librarian Ludwig Koscher, a German himself, began painstaking research on the car, leading to a surprising result. 
Kosher trace back records to Daimler-Benz from the vehicle's unique factory serial number on the engine's firewall. Careful examination of the remaining license plate revealed 1AV148697, the personal number plate of Hitler's 770W. With the assistance of the West German Embassy, it was confirmed to be Hitler's car, delivered to the Reichschancellery on the 8th of July 1940. So, finally, in 1982, the car was properly attributed. It immediately increased in value and public interest, also leading to some controversy as the, at the museum that has continued to rumble on to the present day. As for Goering's real car, the Blue Goose, that's another story for another episode. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.